Hey, I'm going to show you guys how to fix vid4 error that you're getting on DVR content for the Altice Optima box with this type of remote or the older one. Um, this right here is uh, the Miles C5320. It might not work on all, but that's what I've seen. So it's sorry. It looks like there's a problem playing this video right now. Please try it again and we're getting a vid4 error when trying to watch on-demand content or uh, DVR content. I just click OK and it just glitches out here. It's showing another error. Hold on a second. Let me click OK on that. I just want to show you guys my error quickly. Um, it does happen like on most DVR content. I don't know why it does, but um, today is a possible fix for you all. And what you might notice when you're getting that error on, on your DVR, uh, what you might be able to fix. Now, this is not going to work on all content for the Optimum box. You're not going to be able to fix this with all the... Uh, boxes that might only work on specific ones so i'm sorry that that's the case uh, but all the other channels work for example if i go to cartoon network my other channels do work now on as you can see it is live content but when i go into the dvr and try to watch a random show here okay that's just an error that happens when it just gets irritated okay let me go into like scooby-doo mystery incorporated uh, this is being a pain in the neck. Okay, so we are gonna click the play button, and here's what's gonna happen with our uh, display content. Oh, it doesn't want me to play. Okay, uh, it's gonna start playing. It might play a little bit. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't play a little bit. If it doesn't even play anything, it'll just glitch out on a black screen and it'll show a bid for error. Here's a possible fix for y'all. That's what you came for. Let's get started. So what we want to do is you want to turn over your optimum box. Um, obviously the inputs might be different, um, but here's for my specific box. You want to see the cable in. Um, there's many plugins. You should have HDMI plugins into your TV or composite, but we're focusing on the cable in here. As you can see, I'm still getting my vid4 error here on the DVR content. So what you want to do is just click OK. Um, just leave your content alone when it gets glitched out. I just want to go back into guide. All right, let me just, again, make sure uh, show you guys that this does work. Everything, um, every guide, everything works, except for the DVR and the on-demand content. Everything does work. We do get everything. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and shut your optimal box off. Go ahead and shut your optimal box off. It'll still be plugged into power, but it'll just be shut off. Next, go ahead and undo this coax cable. You're going to go ahead and slide. You might need pliers or something other like that to be able to undo it because uh, that's what you're gonna need. You're gonna wanna undo it. And you're gonna wanna, now what you wanna do is you wanna turn it on. You wanna turn it on. Um, you're not gonna be able to watch on-demand content. You're gonna get an error here. Um, alert, the alert error, it's a pain in the neck, but make sure you get that alert error, okay? Alert. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna plug the coax back in. All right, let me just when you're holding a camera and doing this at the same time. Live TV should come back in a second. Now keep sliding it over. Let me uh, put this. All right. You wanna go ahead and secure it. Make sure there's a secure connection in your coax. Make sure that ain't going anywhere. All right. You should have live TV content again. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to the power cord of your DVR. Go ahead, undo it, and put it back in. And your cable box will be automatically turned back on. Um, now we've done all the work we've done with the uh, actual DVR. Now we can turn this box over and uh, make sure that you didn't ruin your coax because you know, sometimes people treat it harshly. What we did is we turned off the cable box. We unplugged the coax. We turned the cable box back on to make sure that the coax was actually um, on, uh, not working. It would say alert and then you plug it back in. You'll get live TV. Then you go ahead and unplug the cable and plug it back in. And here we are. It's preparing a service for me. I'm going to speed this part up.
We just rebooted and we're back on live TV here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the select button on our DVR or just click DVR. We're gonna go to Scooby-Doo or whatever recording you need. You're gonna go to that. Now you're gonna click on play. Now you should have your DVR working again. As you can see, it glitched out right around here and everything works now. You can go ahead and test it out for a few minutes. If you encounter this error again, repeat the setup process that I just showed you. Enjoy your Optimum DVR working again.